Hello beautiful souls, how y'all doing? If you're new here, welcome. This is a Brainy Twin Gemini channel, and I'm Brainy Twin Gemini, where we talk about unconditional love, the purest form of love, the law of attraction, spiritual growth and fitness, all good, good things. I do messages for twin flame, soulmate, divine love, fated connection, as it resonates for you predominantly for souls that are currently in physical separation with more of a masculine message. So I'm going to get started with the message today. Always deep and profound messages on this channel. So I want to say that both of you are awakening in mass proportion. So when you come into each other, you trigger that awakening and you go in your journey mostly in love and then you go into separation and then you go through your awakening process your healing your all sorts of good good things but it is in mass proportions right now so from the masculine's perspective they're awakening to infinite possibilities and they realize that there's so much more out there in the universe than the third dimensional world and as a result it's, I want to say their crown chakra is purifying and cleansing. Yes. So as you know, this, the crown chakra is located at the top of the head. It governs the pineal gland and the upper brain. When developed, it brings us knowledge, wisdom, understanding, spiritual connection, and bliss. And I do want to say that the masculine is out in nature and they're appreciative of everything around them, their surroundings. And I feel like this is what is accelerating their awakening to realizing that first, the infinite possibilities, that your connection is a sacred union. And, and it's just pushing them to clean up any, you know, loose ends, getting rid of things that are not working for them in their life. As a result, they're blossoming abundance because of all of this cleanup, awakening, you know, this, this self-discovery, they're going the distance. There's a huge change, I want to say, in the wind, so to speak, for both of you and your connection. It's a new beginning. I keep feeling this. The sun, the sun is radiating. There's a heat, there's a, a, an enormous light over your connection in love. And this is so, so beautiful. If this, this masculine is holding their heart dear for you and i feel too feminine energy you are always holding your heart for your masculine and you trigger you help your masculine trigger all of these beautiful things within and unconditional love is one of those i want to say beautiful gifts that you give to each other on this journey there is a lot of I want to say terrain that you have to go through and a lot of obstacles that you have to overcome, a lot of interference. People simply don't understand the depth of the love you, you share. And close, I want to say people that are closed minded or sleeping will never understand. So be very careful who you share this with. I was, you know, had to go into the office yesterday and I was dealing with such low vibration. It was just, ugh. I can't even describe how low vibration it is. And my heart actually yearns and, and has such deep empathy for these souls that are trapped in this low vibration. We've been blessed with the gift of a lifetime to awaken and see the truth of oneself and each other and the universe. And it's so, so beautiful. If the masculine could say anything to you at this moment, what would it be? reminding you that everything is always in the moment. We don't live in the past. We don't live in the future. Living in the past creates depression. Living in the future creates anxiety. We want to live in a place where the ego doesn't exist. And usually, if you live in the moment and you savor the moment, the ego is not there. So it's when you're living in the present moment, in the now. So it's... A, it, it just seems to, I guess, disintegrate. So always in the moment if you can. So the messages are, I lie awake manifesting our love. Absolutely. 
I feel like right now there's so much power in the universe as it resonates for twin flames, twin souls. There's so much power, there's so much manifestation going on with this particular collective group of souls. I don't know why. It, it's just, it's so beautiful. There's so, I, I just see this big light shining down and with protection and all sorts of wonderful momentum with, with your journey in the third dimensional world. I know we are twin flames, but I am confused by it all. This is absolutely true. This masculine, some, some of them that haven't known, do know. Some of them have known for a while. It depends on what collective group you are part of. You could be just entering into this journey and you're in that confusing state. What is this love? I don't understand it. I've never felt this before. Am I delusional? Am I obsessing? You know, there's, this is a very difficult journey and it is very confusing. But this masculine, as they awaken to these infinite possibilities and that crown chakra is blown wide open and cleansing and purifying, they have this wisdom of twin flames. A, they've, they, some of them are even actually watching this channel, believe it or not. And you may encounter a very obscure, you, you, you know, you're both on the same channel, so to speak, trying to find information. And you're, you, you're both watching the same videos, ironically. It's beautiful. I love this. When you come to this channel, you come to the truth. There's a lot of, I want to say, just pure garbage out there, shenanigans, people claiming they can bring you back together, asking you to pay money for twin flame coaching and in reunion. No, there's only one source that can bring you together. And you know what that source is. It brought you together in the first place. You separated for a reason, to heal, trauma, awaken, clear karma, all sorts of requirements for you on this journey, believe it or not. And it's a test of your will. It's a test of your faith. You'll, you'll be on your knees a number of times. And, and if you overcome the obstacles with grace and faith, then that's when the beauty and the magic truly occurs within you and your connection. So if you've migrated here, wonderful. Because magic and beauty occurs every single day. Every day. There's souls coming back into reunion. On this, I, I don't know if it's a result of this channel, but people that are on this channel, there is beautiful, beautiful reunions every single day. And keep commenting, even if it's a small token of communication with your counterpart, it really truly does restore the faith in those that are really struggling right now with this journey. So, and lastly, if they could say anything, as I hear and feel you telepathically, 100%, this is the awakening. And your heart chakra, and the love that you have in your heart, believe it or not, stimulates activity in the brain. And that's when your ego dismantles and you travel to different dimensions, the fifth dimension, and you have such power in that dimension where you, you hear each other, you feel each other telepathically. And it's so, so beautiful. Sometimes you feel like you might be going insane because you hear these voices and you feel this energy. You're, see the part, and my beautiful book that we were talking about this last night, we're in a third dimensional world, but there's other dimensions out there, and it almost feels like we're trapped here, and we can't explore the other dimensions. But what you do is you do that simultaneously. You trigger this within each other. It's very, very confusing. It is, because you're trying, your soul is trying to catch up with your knowledge. So and the wisdom and all of this higher consciousness and it will come to you in time but they can feel you very strongly they can hear you and it's absolutely wonderfully beautiful a couple of other messages for you beautiful loving souls are you are loved more than you consciously know share your insecurities with the one you love you will be surprised and reassured by their reaction love is all around you and that's exactly it sometimes you feel it deflated angry just you want to you know just give up on the journey this is a journey to oneself and just purify cleansing and getting back to that innocence that you rightfully deserve share share it with 
the ones you love, like-minded souls. Because as I said earlier, not everyone understands this journey, and they look at you like you have two heads. But in actual reality, we are the same ones. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's. I think the society or culture wants to hide the truth from us of what we're truly capable of. And you, you, what you do for each other is just phenomenal, and I love it all so much. Stop taking life so seriously. Achievements and possessions will pale into insignificance when your soul's journeys back home to the light from which everything stems. And that's exactly it. Stop taking life so seriously. You know, have fun. This, is, this journey can be very daunting and just, I want to say paralyzing, but you're meant to overcome these hurdles, as I said, with, I want to say, elegance, faith, and it's a test. So, you know, stop taking life so seriously. Go have some fun. Go into nature. Just observe the nature and the beauty of it. Watch everything around you and live in that moment and just stop taking life so seriously. Your smile illuminates my soul. It makes me feel whole. There is no part of me that your love cannot fill. From the first moment we met, I am forever grateful and I count my blessings each day, beloved Jewel. You both do it. This, you simultaneously do it. Once you get to that, I want to say that destination of acceptance and gratitude, that's another step closer to each other. Because this is a, this is a blessing. It truly is. Sometimes it doesn't always seem that way but you're morphing into the most beautiful version of yourself. So how could it not be a blessing? You're overcoming, you know, trauma and all sorts of awakening, kundalini, purification, lucid dreaming, different dimensions. What a blessing, right? Gratitude. You know, gratitude is one of those very fundamental things on this journey, is being grateful for the sacred union that you've come into. As many of you know, Signs and synchronicity are a fundamental part of this journey. That's part of the awakening process. They were there before. The signs and synchronicity were always there in the part of your life, but you were just not awakened to it. Now you are. And it's a gentle reminder that this is truly your journey. And the, the feminine animal spirit message today is Coyote Spirit, trust in divine detours, trust the journey so as i alluded to earlier you will go on a, a a tailspin once in a while you will go to some detours you may repeat cycles that you you've already learned lessons from but it's easy to jump back into old patterns because that's what you're familiar with but trust in the divine teacher detours and trust in this beautiful journey it just trust and faith is one of those things. It's easy to abolish it. It's easy to run away from it. It's running chasing, right? Those are the detours. You simultaneously chase after each other in the, in the different dimensions, believe it or not. You don't realize it. And you have to trust in divine, divine detours and trust the journey. And if you don't, then you'll stay blocked in the third dimensional world. I read all of your comments. I can't respond to them all. I just don't have enough hours in the day. I would love to. Some of the comments that I read, you're not under, some of you are just not understanding the journey. The journey is to oneself. And, you know, bashing your masculine or saying very nasty things is not a voice of unconditional love. You trigger that within each other. It's frustrating, yes, and you get angry with the bread crumbing. But once you migrate away from the focus of your masculine and bring the focus back to yourself, then you get back on the right track, and there will be little to no detours. The masculine animal spirit tip message today is spider spirit. Make your dreams real. So they're fulfilling their dreams. They're, they're listening to their soul. They're awakening 
in mass proportion, as I said. They realize there's infinite possibilities. Your love is infinite. It's a sacred union. It's it's absolutely beautiful. And they're making their dreams real. And that and that you're in your dream, in their dreams, you are in their dreams. Feminine energy. And I feel like dreaming is a very a very fundamental part of this journey as well. It it could be family members you're dreaming of. I was when I was in separation with my beloved soul. I kept dreaming of my mother and father, and they are, you know, they're on the other side now. And he was always with them. It was strange, you know, like Burger King of all places. He was working there. Like it was, some of these dreams were just com completely and incredibly bizarre. I always kept a notepad by my bedside. I always do that because there's very important messages in your dreams. And also, too, there's also you'll have dreams about someone that's not recognizable they don't look like your twin but you have this deep profound love in your dream for this person and it could leave you waking up going that wasn't even look they didn't physically look like my twin that's because this is a soul journey it's not a physical journey it's about and your souls are you know are eternal and your love stems lifetime over lifetime so that's why sometimes the person, you can see them in a distance and you have this deep profound and in the dream, you know it's your twin. If that makes any sense, you're like, that's my twin. But why doesn't it look like my twin? That's the reconciliation within yourself to just parse away that separation. And the overall energy, animal energy, energy spirit is giraffe spirit, see the big picture. It, that resonates with infinite. It resonates with beautiful, beautiful. And seeing the big picture is the crown chakra as well. It, that exactly what it, it entails. It brings us knowledge, wisdom, understanding, spiritual connection, and bliss. And I feel like nature is a very important part of that today. And another last closing message for you beautiful souls is listen to the music today. There's some very deep, profound, touching music that is just going to get into your soul and it's going to be deep and meaningful look listen to the lyrics they're speaking to you today and that's all i have for your beautiful souls so if any of this resonates kindly hit subscribe like and comment if you haven't already join up for our zoom call march 20th 7 p.m eastern standard time i'll put the details on my community page so you have that in front of you and I want to wish you a beautiful, beautiful day.